Welcome. Come on, Kaelo. Salam, Kaela. Konzela. What kele kile? To the 145th state of the puppet nation. Let's get it all. This week, everybody loves Malema. Team South Africa go for gold. I am Sparta! All this and more. But first, this. South Africa celebrated Women's Day by unveiling statues of the four women who led the original match. Well, Overjim wished us all a happy Mother's Day. A new rule I have. Men who don't know the difference between Mother's Day and Women's Day should be punched in the face. Every year on the 9th of August, men should just be quiet. Just for one day. Just silence. <sighs> But what if like... Justice! And Barack Obama has played his 300th round of golf as president. Are you kidding me now? That is not news. I've got my handicap right now. People are getting shot every day in your country and you are playing golf? A black man on a golf course is huge news, Deborah. That's true. Unless it's Figel and Malula, and then it's just another day on Instagram. I shot three over par. That's the only kind of black shooting I want to see in the news. Robert Mugabe has made it legal to confiscate Zimbabwean phones and laptops after he discovered they were saying nasty things about him on social media. I can't imagine why. Hashtag this flag. I don't care about the agents of the British colonialists saying horrible things about me on social media. You don't? Hashtag this flag. They've been spreading their homosexual faculings for years and I still drink myself to sleep every night with the finest whiskey. So why are you confiscating their phones? They keep capturing my gyms in Pokemon Go. <sighs> Come back here, Pikachu. And now, a message from our president. Women of our nation, have you been feeling more relieved than usual when taking off your bra at the end of the day? Felt a little flutter of excitement at buying your feminine hygiene products? Well, of course you have. It's Women's Month. <laughs> and what a glorious month it is. August, the gateway drug to spring. What does Women's Month mean, you ask? Why, it means cocktail parties, poetry readings, events with women in their titles. It means discounts on cleaning products and makeup. That's right, women. August is all yours, a whole month. Mm. You've come a long way, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> this message was probably paid for by taxpayers' money. The ANC's poor showing at the polls has resulted in a bit of a blame game. It's likely that some heads will roll in the aftermath of these elections. I'm not yet quite sure which way I'm going to vote at this tribal council. It would be easy for us all to vote Marius off. But sometimes, I think it would be the time for Jacob to get blindsided. It's all Gwede's fault, of course. But I'm feeling a bit <clears throat> suspicious. I think people are talking about me. I looked all afternoon for the immunity idol, but I couldn't find it anywhere. Gwede, Gwede, can't you find me an idol? Frenchman's time has come, definitely. But I need to make sure my alliance is with me when the big move comes. I will not let that man outwit, outplay, and outlust me. Various Frenchman, the tribe has spoken. A lot of South Africans have appreciated the poetic justice of the IFP ruling in Kandla. The Inkata Freedom Party hung on to the municipality, which is deep in IFP Hutland. 
us. We are very fond of the inhabitants of Nkandla, and we will be introducing very few bylaws. Bylaws? We are demanding that all swimming pools are rezoned for public access. Oh, and there will be a laughter curfew in post. No giggling after, in fact, 9 uh, p.m. Of course. We are also investigating putting in e-tolls and burning blue light brigades. Such a huge problem in KwaZulu-Natal. You have no idea how we, in fact, suffer in Nkanja. One of the main results of the local elections is that Julius Malema now has a lot of power. With a sizable chunk of the votes in contested municipalities belonging to the AFF, they've now become the kingmakers. Who else sent gifts? The Patriotic Alliance borrowed money from the, the 16 supporters to buy you this watch. The Patriotic Alliance does not have enough support to get a majority in a backpackers. Put it with the others. Ah, and here's a packet from the ANC. Hi there, old friend. How are you, bruh? You are not still mad about the Guptas? That was all a joke, a little funny. Like when I said I wouldn't pay back the money. To show you that I mean it too, please find Atash and I owe you. I know you will make the right decision. Please choose me for your coalition. And everyone is still talking about the Remember Quezzy protesters. We all saw their powerful protests, but here's what the cameras did not show you. And then, of course, it is important that we consider the ramifications of the ward council vote in the northern parts. Of Did I pay them for this? I should have paid them. Tell them we, I can keep them in voters, cupboard for the rest of their lives. Where voters clearly came out... Imagine the nerve of these girls doing a stunt like this in August. No, also, the women's sleep will support. put them right. This is what we are for, are keeping women in line. Wait, no one told me we were allowed to bring up stuff from years ago. Oh, yeah, I guess it's what you people are best at, eh? Oh, and <laughs> hello, young ladies. So nice of you to give me a standing ovation. Uh, but I, I can't read your posters from here. <clears throat> what? Attention all fake shillers and bruises that are really chiffons and buckstains. So sure, you have sunshine and peaches there, but you also have the risk of a boomerang hitting you in the back of the head at any given moment. Shame. You might have heard by now that the internet here is a whole lot better than it was when you left. So we can watch the cricket on live stream while chilling on the stoop. But we want to make one thing very, very clear. Please put down the shrimp <laughs> and step away from the Barbie. This is important. We don't want any of you racists thinking that this is a good reason to come home. Seriously, it's cool. Stay there. Whilst with Matilda, just leave us alone. For the sake of this puppy, please. You know, Women's Month means only one thing. Some idiot on Twitter is going to ask when Men's Month is. Nope. Well, I mean, of course, but that's not it. The celebration of the women of our nation? No. Nope. Remembering the women of the past who fought to make things better for women now? No. Nope. Cheesy, inappropriate pink giveaways. Friday arguments are just a month away. Ah, crap. Uh-huh. Get ready. Now that elections are over, our phones have stopped buzzing with DA SMSs. <sighs> Finally, it's time to move on from the elections and get back to the business of governing. Hello? Thank you for voting for DA for a change. I mean, voting for change. For, for the DA. Note, note yourself. Drink more Red Bull between calls. Uh, Mussi, shouldn't you stop calling people now? But I have to thank each of our voters. As a politician, it is vital for me to have a genuine personal connection with each and every single one of our supporters. Only 2,753,459 to go. Try to do that, Zuma. Hmm? He must be on that new telecom plan. Mm. 
Deborah, do you mind if I thank you at the same time as Justice? You know, I mind very much. I deserve my own thanks for voting. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, hang on. Hello? Hello! I'd like to thank you for voting for DA Change. Uh, damn it! That's still not it. Uh, do you over? He's not calling back. I blocked him. The Olympics are in full swing, with the athletes kindly saving the most exciting events for the evenings, when we're all in front of the TV. <laughs> it's kind of like the elections, really. The big players competing to see who can win the most, while the small players just desperately want to win something. Anything. Plus some hitting, accusations of derping, and at the end of the day, many corporate sponsors are coming away with a lot less than they would have liked. You are so right, so right, you are almost perpendicular! About the Olympics or politics? Exactly, Justice! If the few paltry humanoids had only just listened to Fikil and Balula, there would be no losers, only winners! Uh, I'm still not clear. Next week, Casta and Wade will make us proudly South African Zalapratorialists! Well, some people who shall not be named, <coughs> Tony, will only be eligible to watch on TVs in DA municipalities. Now I'm clear. I now declare the immediate vicinity of Fikila for winners only. Give me Olympic glory or give me death. I am Sparta! Freedom! <laughs> South Africans were particularly thrilled at the inclusion of the Rugby Sevens at this year's Olympics. Yes, thanks IOC. But if you really wanted to give us a medal, why not bring in YXK? Or Box Troll Spook? Or the Road Rage Pentathlon? Oh yeah, I, me, the V, I was not thrilled. I was angry like, uh, like the lions in Daniel's Den. But I thought you loved rugby. Yeah, so imagine how many medals the V could have won for us if they had let me coach the Olympic rugby. I would need a new neck, you know, those medals would be so flippin' heavy. I think the sevens is quite a different game from test rugby. And how many teams have you coached, Justice? Uh, none. Yeah, and what's that? Zero team. The stats don't lie, my friend. I was the best rugby coach of all time, and you don't even qualify as a coach. So my opinion outranks yours. He's got you there. I could have seen my rugby players like seagulls on a, on a wet day, like Moses parting the sea to bring the medals home to me. You know, TV, have you ever considered becoming one of those late night improv poets in Ops? Those people would love you. <laughs> Oh, 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 what ho, gentle folks, stiff upper lip and all that. We have a message for all the South Africans living in England in the pissing driving rain. Never sure whether or not to root for Kevin Peterson. You guys who own corgis because the Queen ruled that you must. We have faster internet now. Yeah, so fast the guy doesn't stop mid-pump during your porn because he's buffering. But you see, we know why you left. It had nothing to do with the internet being old and slow. For most of you... It is because you were terrified of black people being in charge. Because, well, you're pretty racist. Whoa, dude, totally not cool. So now that we've got faster internet, we're going to make sure you can Skype your grandkids in South Africa, order your favorite Biltong and Mrs. Balls online, and even watch schoolboy rugby online, and root for your old school to kick the bluxom out of your historical rivals. Oh, because boy-on-boy -boy violence is the best. We're going to do all of this to make sure that you never, ever come back to South Africa. You're welcome. Things are so complicated in politics right now. Do you ever wish you could just go back to a simpler time? You mean when the rich brutally oppressed the poor and democracy didn't exist? White patriarchal heydays? Uh, I, I was thinking more like 1995. Well, let's see where Rian is taking us today. Debra, justice! Rian, Mativas! Blip-boop-boop, Mativas! Rian! How are you two adorable cuddle buddies today? Oh, just fantastic. Thanks, Deborah. I've been finding time to indulge in one of my old hobbies, painting. Look, here's one I just finished. Oh. oh. It's Mativas. I see you've painted him like one of your French girls. Ah, oh, that's very good, actually. Albeit a bit weird. We haven't seen Mativas for a while, Rian. Where has he been? Uh, Mativas only just came back from holiday, Justice. Apparently, he had more leave days than me. How does that 
even happen? Wait, I didn't know we even employed Matthias. You don't, Deborah, but I do. So his employment package is more generous than mine. <coughs> ah. ah. And on that note, Rian, when are you taking us today? Well, Deborah, it was 2046 years ago in 30 BC, or as we used to say, 724 AB, Urbe Condita, when Cleopatra, the last Ptolemaic pharaoh of Egypt, reportedly killed herself. Or she was murdered. Nobody knows. Vrachis, <laughs> news sources were unreliable in those days. You couldn't trust anyone. <clears throat> Let me take you back. Good evening, Burnham Vesperum, Kairete, and... <laughs> See? Okay. It was reported today that Cleopatra, the seventh philopator, pharaoh of Egypt, is dead. Cleopatra's death follows the suicide of her partner and political ally, Marcus Antonius, who stabbed himself in the stomach after Gaius Octavius defeated his and Cleopatra's forces in the Battle of Actium in the Ionian Sea. But the burning question remains, how did Cleopatra die? Let's cross over now to our reporter on the scene. Hello, hello, it's me, Amos, with the microphone, trying to find out if anyone knows how Gilbatra died. Excuse me. <clears throat> hello, sir, it's me, Amos, with the microphone. Do you know how Gilbatra died? Cleopatra is dead. Oh, no. Oh, ah, oh dear. Oh, oh uh, hello there. It's me, Amos, with the microphone. Do you know how Gilbatra died? <laughs> my pharaoh! My pharaoh! <laughs> Oops. Oh, um, ah! Hello, madam. It's me. I'm Hose with the microphone. Before you do anything rash, could you please hand me your dagger for a minute? Haha! Thank you. Now, could you please tell me how Cleopatra died? <laughs> Cleopatra! <laughs> ah, Rian, I don't want to do this anymore. It's okay, Amherst. You did your best. Mm, they keep killing themselves. Well, it looks like this is just one of those things we'll never really know. This uh, sucks. Oh, for goodness sakes. And now for our regular slot. Stupid shit Donald Trump said this week. This week's shit with Donald Trump. Hello, I'm Donald Trump, and today I'm mansplaining PMS. I can understand why PMS is too complicated an issue for you to understand, ladies, with all those hormones hurtling around your body, dulling your tiny brains. It's a time when women use the way nature functions to be complete and utter bitches, and men are supposed to shut up and take it. PMS really stands for pure misandry shitheads. It's just another way women oppress men. This week's shit with Donald Trump. Hello, I'm Donald Trump, and today I'm mansplaining rape. Rape, ladies, is that convenient excuse you pull out when you get drunk and sleep with a guy, but you don't want people to know you're a slut. I mean, sure, sometimes it might be the guy's fault, but he's just following his natural guy instincts. You're being vindictive and malicious. Guys can have their whole lives ruined if someone accuses them of rape. Every woman that says the word rape should be sued for emotional damage. Rape is just another way women are oppressing men. And as the UK struggles to find his feet in the wake of Brexit, many people have hoped David Cameron would add his thoughts to the ongoing conversations about how the island nation should move forward. Instead, he's become a bit of a recluse. Hello, Deborah. How very jolly to see you again. This is a bit of a change from Downing Street. Oh, no, gosh, no. Just as many pigs and muck in both places. <laughs> but seriously, it's much nicer here. No one has called me dishface or cunty bollocks or spino gelatinous pots in owls. Did you ask them if they wanted to order the bacon, sir? Ooh, bacon. 
No, no, they're here to talk politics. I bet you want my opinions on that. Um, uh, Theresa May. Yes, I, I would like to know that. Delightful woman, I think. Certainly far more charming than Boris and rather easier on the eye, eh? Just like Clarice here. Clarice? Dear sweet Clarice, Clarice understands me. Clarice doesn't think I made a mistake by calling that referendum. He doesn't mind if I smell of gammon. Pigs are extremely flatulent. A lot of methane in the air. I think it's made him a bit delirious. Clarice will taste delicious in a few months. If you'd like to place an order... You promised! Business is business, sir. All the old bogeys in the house, they don't like me, don't you know? They think they're slick, oh way oh, 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 they're falling down like dominoes. From Nigel Farage on the Thames, they think about on the boat. To Boris Johnson, oh, oh way oh, oh, what kind of leaders did you get? Foreign types in the EU say, hey, oh, way By David Cameron. I try to get you all to stay, but you don't like me anymore. They spun their lies away, oh, oh, then Theresa May showed me the door. You're worried about the immigrants, but fucked about the British power. So now we're fucked oh, away, oh, goodbye, David Cameron. All the nerds in the marketplace say, hey, oh, way, oh, hey, oh, way, oh. Goodbye, David Cameron. Goodbye, David Cameron. Nobody really likes anybody, but everybody has to pretend. Except every Cameron who really does like Clarice. This has been the 145th state of the Puppet Nation. Goodbye. Bye. Ooh, bacon.